What we're trying to do here is calculate the total area for this nut. We have to think about all the surfaces that are on here, and uh, in particular, watch out for this cylinder in the middle of it all. So, total area is going to be the lateral area plus the area of the bases. There are two of them. So the lateral area is going to be perimeter of the base times the height. Perimeter of the base is going to be 9 times 6, and the height is 5. Now, the area of the bases is a bit more of a problem because we have hexagon shapes, and so that means that we're going to have to use our formula for calculating the um, area of a hexagon. Well, the area of a hexagon is perimeter times apothem divided by 2. But we need to find out what the apothem is. The apothem is this imaginary distance from the edge to the center. So I'm going to draw a triangle in here. Now, we don't have enough information until you realize that a hexagon is basically, if it's a regular hexagon, formed of a bunch of equilateral triangles. So this is 9, this will be 9, this will be 9, and if we take out this portion, we're going to have a right triangle which we can use the Pythagorean theorem for. I'm just going to redraw that part of it. And the 9 is the hypotenuse. This part is going to be half of the base, or half of the side, so that's going to be 4.5. And my apothem. Make sure that the 9 and the A don't look the same. The Pythagorean theorem working for this one is going to be A squared plus 4.5 squared equals 9 squared. See if I have some room on the screen here. A squared plus 4.5 squared equals 9 squared. And letting the dust settle, we're going to have that A squared is equal to the square root of 81 minus 20.25, equaling square root of 60.75. Now we could calculate this into a nicer value, and that would be basically uh, something like 7.9. But I'm going to leave this because I want it as accurate as, it, uh, as possible an answer, and I'll round at the end. So what do we have now? Okay, I have the length of the apothem, and that's going to be used in their formula, perimeter times apothem divided by 2. So that's going to be perimeter 9 times 6 times the apothem, which I'll still write in as... 60.75, and that's got to be divided by 2. Why? Again, because there's um, the, the part of the triangle that's going to be dividing it by 2. And there are two bases for this thing, so I'm going to have to multiply the entire quantity. But I'm making a mistake here because I've got the two hexagons, but I'm still going to have to subtract those two circles. Now I could put it into this calculation, or I could actually put it separately. In fact, I think I'm going to do that minus the two circles, which is going to be pi r squared doubled. So 2 pi r squared. I can fill in the radius right away. Radius of this is going to be the half of the 6, which is equal to 3. Calculate these amounts, and we're going to get our final answer. Let's just do a pause on this.